These results suggest that the insula is a critical neural substrate for negating the urge to smoke, and that its disruption tends to break the cycle of addiction to smoking. And conceptually, putting the insula in connection with those other systems that I uh, talked about earlier, we, we are working on the concept that the insular cortex, most likely the anterior insula, responds to interceptive signals due to homeostatic imbalance, deprivation states, withdrawal, etc. Besides the translation of these interceptive signals into what may become subjectively experienced as a feeling of an urge or craving, the insular cortex activity increases the drive and motivation to smoke or to take drugs by doing two things to these two systems. And of course we are examining these these days with functional neuroimaging methods. That is, once the insula is engaged, there is a tendency for that impulsive system, that involves the amygdala and the striatum, to become more active. So insula activity exacerbates the activity of that habit impulsive system, but at the same time, it disables or hijack activity of the prefrontal cortex. So prefrontal cortex activity will go uh, down as a result of engagement in the insular uh, cortex.